We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you Simple Man's Comics Weekly Picks. Hey, what's good, guys? It's Brian from Simple Man's Comics with you real quick. I'm going to go through my weekly picks. These are the comics that are coming out this Wednesday that I'm interested in picking up. I'm going to go ahead and share with the rest of y'all. First up, we got Batman number 8. This is Night of the Monster Men Part 4. There's also a variant by Tim Sale. I'm sticking with this. I'm sticking with Tom King. I think this is going to play out. It's going to end up being really good. Next, we got He-Man Thundercats number 1. This is the first of a six-part epic crossover event. I'm really looking forward to getting this. Can't wait to read it. Cannibal number 1 from Brian Bucciolato and Jennifer Young. Looks like it's an awesome storyline. What I like about this also is it doesn't look to be any variants for it. So, also, there's some image titles coming out this week that other people might have on their radar. So they might ignore this, and then it could fly under the radar, and you might have yourself something on your hands. I'd advise pick this up, even if it's just for the story. Green Valley number one. This comes from Hollywood blockbuster writer-director Max Landis, who also wrote Superman American Alien, which is fantastic. This looks like it's going to play out kind of like a Game of Thrones type vibe, so I'd advise picking this up as well. Moonshine number one. This is my star pick of the week. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this comic to come out forever. It's finally going to be here. Can't wait to pick it up. It takes place during Prohibition. you got New York crime bosses involved. Another thing to note is there's a Frank Miller variant cover for this. Make sure you get that as well. Walking Dead number 159. This is part three of the Whisperer War. Beta, Negan. Holy cow, they've been fantastic the past few issues. Also, don't forget to pick up the Arthur Adams connecting variant when you get this. Cage number one from Jendi Tartakovsky. He's the creator of Dexter's Laboratory, Samurai Jack, and Hotel Transylvania. This comes fresh off the release of the Netflix show, so there's going to be some increased popularity in this character, I believe. Also, this ships with five different covers. There's a hip-hop cover, there's a Run the Jewels cover, there's a Casada cover, and there's also an incentive classic variant for this issue. So be on the lookout for all of those. Pick up what you like. Champions number one. This is the huge issue coming out of Marvel this week. There's too many variants to even count right now, but this is going to be big. The Marvel Universe is fractured. Here's who once stood together now position themselves in opposition to one another. Idols of the Marvel Universe who once endured in the light are now shrouded with shades of gray, and the heroes of tomorrow are fed up. It's time for change. It's time for a brighter tomorrow. It doesn't take Tony Stark or Captain America to make a difference. All it takes is six young heroes, and you can change the world. And they are only the beginning. Deadpool back in black number one. Now if I were to tell you Symbiote would take over Deadpool, does that sound like something you'd want to read? Of course, so pick these up. Now this also ships with four different variants. There's a Ron Lim cover, there's a Contest of Champions cover, and there's two Rob Liefeld variants. One's a color and one's a sketch. So look for those while you're picking these up. Disney Kingdom's Enchanted Tiki Room number one. Now you might laugh me out of the room on this one, but I love this comic. Might be because I'm a huge Disney fan and I've loved all these Disney comics, but these actually do pretty well. The Haunted Mansion series did really well selling on the secondary market. So I'm definitely going to pick this up just because of the Disney fan in me and I'm interested in reading the story. But also, there's a 1 in 50 variant for this by Jason Grant that has the Orange Bird variant cover. This won't only attract comic collectors, but this will attract Disney fans as well. So if you see that, make sure you get it. Jessica Jones number 1. They brought back the original creative team and Brian Michael Bendis, Michael Gatos, and David Mack who worked on her title originally when it was Alias. A lot of people didn't know who she was at that time, but now that her show's on Netflix, a lot more people are aware. There's seven different variant covers shipping for this. The one I got my eye on is the Alex Malie variant. Awesome artist, great cover, that's what I'll be picking up. Shipwreck number one. This comes from Aftershock Comics, which is fresh off the success of their Animosity title. It also has great comic writer and Warren Ellis. Looks like a great story with some suspense and some sabotage. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Just so you're aware, there's also a cover B incentive variant for this title. Black number one from Black Mass Comics. Now Black Mass Comics has been putting hit after hit after hit with their comic series lately. I don't see how this one will be any different. The only problem Black Mass has been facing is they have a hard time finding continuity in their series. They seem to always hit delays and lose some of the audience. Hopefully, I think they've gotten this figured out now, and we shouldn't have that problem coming forward. But I'm really looking forward to reading this. There's a cover A and a cover B, and they're saying they're being filled randomly, so you don't know which or how many of each one each shop will get. But be on the lookout for this. So there you have it. Those are my picks for the week. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and comment on the video below. 
you liked the video, click the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of these videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel because we'll be doing these all the time. I'm Brian for Simple Man's Comics, and those are my picks of the week. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program.